is, are you researching the summer 3D mini stroller or just compact strollers and not sure which one you should get? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the summer 3D mini convenience stroller. So if you're curious on what my experience and pros and cons I've had with this stroller, make sure to stick around to the very end. My name is Cassandra Sisson and I love reviewing, talking about, and giving away baby products. So if that's your thing, make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified when I release new videos, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So a long time ago, I was going on a cruise before everything happened and cruises were still a thing. I was going on one <laughs> and I did not want to be lugging around my daughter's big stroller that she had. So I started searching for more of a compact, smaller stroller. She was going to be eight months at the time and she was able to sit up but still needed and use some assistance to stay up for long periods of time. So I wasn't interested or looking into the strollers that were just a seat. I still wanted something that was adjustable where she can lay back and nap. I wanted a, a canopy so it can block her from the sun. I still needed compartments. She had lots of things that was holding. So I wanted smaller but not too basic of a stroller. So I researched and came across the summer 3D mini stroller. And I ended up choosing this one. I will tell you why. So some information about the strollers. Summer 3D Mini has a variety of different kinds, ranging from $45 up to $120. They also have a double stroller for those of you who have multiple little ones and you need more than one seat, and that one goes for $265. So depending on what you're looking for, they have a Summer Mini 3D to accommodate to all your needs. So the one I chose was the first model. It only cost me $45. I liked it because it had multiple varieties of colors. I could pick from a pink one, a blue one, or a solid black one. I picked blue because it was my favorite color. <laughs> um, I picked this one just because, yes, the other ones had multiple features, but I didn't need too extravagant of a compact stroller. For that, I did have my big one that I invested money into that one. This one, I needed just more of a basic model, not too basic, but had some um, upgraded features and that would work for me on my cruise. What I liked about this one is that in the main feature that was my favorite was the pouch in the back. It had two cup holders so I was able to hold a drink for myself and hold her bottles and it had a little zipper compact where I could put my keys, my phone, and my wallet which is all I was planning to hold when I was on that cruise. I did not want any purses so I was able to have all my belongings in there plus her bottles it also had an extra basket on the bottom, so I was able to hold more supplies for my daughter that was outside of her diaper bag. What else I loved is that the back, and this was the biggest feature, I was looking for many other ones because as mentioned, my daughter was gonna be eight months old, still taking many naps, so I couldn't purchase a stroller that where she sat upright all the time because I knew she was gonna nap and I didn't want her head falling forward. So this one has an adjustable back. It doesn't lay down completely at a full 180 or close to it. It's more of, of a 90 degree angle that it's gonna go for you. And it has a pull. So it's kind of a button that you push together and you pull and it's gonna lay back a little bit. Enough where she can comfortably take a nap if she fell asleep, which she did multiple times on the cruise. I, that was the biggest, biggest feature I was looking for in the stroller, which a lot of other ones did not have. The wheels lock, so if you are somewhere maybe that's a little bit slanted or you just wanna make sure the stroller doesn't move, the front wheels, you can press down the button, pretty easy to maneuver, you just press it down and lift it up and the wheels will lock for you. Another feature I loved when I was on the boat, because the boat does move and I need to make sure if I'm sitting on the table and she's sitting next to me, the stroller isn't going to just move away. <laughs> so great feature to have. It was really, really easy to fold, literally, I just remove the locks and I kind of just bring it, it has a clip on the bottom that you just push out and it folds right in, kind of, if, even if you have an extra strap, what I did bring is, um, it, because it doesn't come with it, it's those straps to hold the beach chairs, I was able to fit it in there. So in the event I didn't need one, we were going into a theater or anything, I was able to put it in there and hold it with me if I just needed to, or I can easily fit it. It's only about 11 pounds, so really easy, and once it's shut, it's... I don't know the exact measurements, but it's not very big. It's, I wanna say maybe six inches in, in width. So very compact, you can put it under your seats if you have a wider um, 
area where you can slide it, but very easy to put away, not hard at all. The straps on it have the pads, so what's nice is that if she does fall asleep, I, the little pads here kind of help her out a little so the straps aren't digging into her. Nice little feature on there, and the seatbelt was really easy. It literally just has the button in the middle, you clip, and the straps come out. They're also adjustable, so depending how long your little one is, you can adjust the straps for their height. These are all things that I absolutely loved on it. I'm still in love with it, that's why I'm using it till today. There was only one con I experienced with it, and that was the canopy itself. It has a clip, it's kind of like a little mouthpiece, and you clip it on to the bar. I don't know if I've closed it too many times, kind of bent it, and believe me when I say I am not a fragile person. So I throw things everywhere, I throw it in the back of the car, I throw it, once I get in the house I throw it. So I could have been me where it just not being careful with it, it kind of clipped, but the canopy, the pieces fall off easy sometimes. So I really, sometimes I've had to pinch them back so that they can grip the bar and stay on more consistently. So that was really the only con I experienced with the canopy was the grip, along with the length of the canopy. Since she was eight, year, eight months old when I purchased it, she was still shorter, so the canopy didn't reach to block out the sun for her. So I still used a blanket which I use with my other strollers as well. Sometimes they're just too little. Right now, she's fine. She's two years old, a lot taller. The canopy works great and blocks out the sun. But when she was eight months, it has is no default of the stroller. It's just the fact that she's so little that it didn't cover the sun. So you might have to bring an extra sheer blanket just to provide extra shade for them if they're still um, little and not tall where the canopy and the sun, the sun rail can actually cover the sun for them and block it from their eyes. And this isn't a running stroller, but I go jogging a lot and I take it with me and it works great. But do not purchase it in with the mindset that you're going to use this as a jogger. There are specific strollers for them, but in the event you need to take it out, you want to take her for a nice little stroll, a jog, this works great. I take it for a good two and a half mile light jog and it's worked pretty great for me. So this is pretty heavy duty for only being $45, for it being more compact, more small, it works great. But as mentioned, there is upgraded models from them. There's differences with the seat, with the rotation of how the seat can slant, the cup holders, the pouches. It has other upgraded features on them, which if you're looking to spend, if you can spend a little bit more, those would be great add-ons to have. I only purchased the one I did because it was more within my budget and it had all the features I needed. So I didn't really need to upgrade and look for different ones. I hope this review helped in your decision making process. I definitely recommend for you to give them a try. Thank you for all the recommendations on products you want to see reviews on. If there's anything you're looking into and you're not quite sure, leave a comment below. I will check it out, test it out for you, and let you know what I think. See you soon, and don't forget to tell yourself every morning you're an amazing parent and you're doing a great job.